All right, so um, in this video, I just want to show how to create a cursor or a cross uh, crosshair that appear when I interact with an object. And when I click the mouse, I get teleported to this plate here. So basically, I go there, I have a little dot that appear when the object is being selected. And when I click, I just get teleported. Let's do that. Okay, so uh, let's do that. So let's start by using the first person template in Unreal Engine 5. I'm gonna call this, uh, so I'm just gonna create this project. All right, so we got everything. So if we start the game, so we're basically having a third person, it go up. So the first thing to do, um, I'm gonna dock the layout like this. I'm gonna create a new folder for, let's call it demo. Um, I'm going to go with uh, a user, I'm going to do a user interface widget blueprint. So create this, call this widget blueprint, I'm going to call this HUD, like that. Panel, canvas panel, all right, and we're going to add a small image to be the center, the cursor, or the cross, crosshair. All right, so we're gonna put this right in the middle, like this, uh, and I'm gonna import my cursor. So I did something in Photoshop, like really basic, just put a circle like that. Can be anything, it's just my choice at the moment. Okay, so I just import my crosshair. I'm just gonna put this under the brush, and I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna resize that. So the image size is 24 by 24. I'm just gonna put it as is like this. I think it's minus 12.5 and minus 12.5 to be precise. There we go. Okay, so I got my uh, my widget. So, and the first thing we're gonna do is to actually display this HUD inside of Unreal. So for that, uh, we'll go with the first person. We go in the blueprint and we're gonna use the blueprint first person character. And here, when we're going to open, we're going to do a begin. So let's do here the event begin. We're going to do, we're going to create the widget, uh, create a widget. There we go. And we're going to select the widget I just created, which is the WP, WPB HUD. So I'm going to create that. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to add it the viewport just to start with this there we go i'm going to create also a parameter a variable and we're going to start the game again there we go now in the middle of the screen i have my widget so now what we're going to do with this is we want to to be to interact with object around what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create something called an interface. So an interface oops is not there. An interface is kind of um an, a blueprint interface. It's something that shows uh, how can I describe this easily? It's 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 a generic function you can use on any kind of blueprint or actor. So basically here I'm gonna call this BPI, that's the convention, and I'm gonna call this interact. So what I wanna do with this is inside of that interface, I'm gonna create a function interact like that, something like that. So there's gonna be every actor or blueprint use that interface going to have this kind of um, function inside of it. So we'll see in a minute what that means. So if I go back to my my uh, character here, one thing I need to do is every tick, I want to I run a use uh, a line casting to detect an object. So let's start with that tick event. So tick event is something to be careful with not to use it too much so here i'm going to do a line trace by channel it's a classic one and what i try to do here is i try to line trace towards my uh, 
my cursor. So when I do this, what I want to see visually, it's a line trace going from my camera to this center point. It's happened to be right in the, f the center of my camera view. And I'm going to cast a ray. And then if it cross to an object, and we'll do an action with that. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I'm going to use the camera because that's the one I want to start. And I get the location. Get location. Get word location like this. I start with that. And I'm just going to look forward a little bit. Get forward vector in front of it. And I'm going to multiply this. Um, let's convert that to a float. Convert to a float. Like I want to look like 600 ahead of my uh, camera. And I'm adding this to this location like that. And that's how far my array will cast. So when my array cast, I will see what it looks like. I'm going to just show, I'm going to use the, uh, there we go, for duration of five seconds, typically, there we go. So I'm going to see how the, the array cast works. So every five, every time it casts an array and it stay there for five seconds, as you can see, there's a plenty of raycast right now. So everywhere I'm looking, there's a raycast. And when I cross an object, it goes through it. And it gives me an information about the object I'm crossing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my interface to detect if the object have that kind of interface. So here, if I have um, detect an object like this. I'm gonna break, break the. What? Oh, it's melt. Oh my god! I use a multi line. Sorry, that's my fault. It's a single line. Line by channel, just one. I don't want many lines because it's confusing. So let's re do that here. Here. So I'm detecting here if I got a hit, break the hit, uh, break which result. And I'm going to see if my actor does implement interface. So I'm just going to test if this actor use an interface and the interface I'm looking for is my BPI interact. I'm just looking if the object have that interface working. If it's true, so if first, if it's get it by something, and second, if if this object have that interface, then I'm gonna do something like I'm gonna print something, print text, got me, got me, all right, and uh, yeah, okay. So let's start that. So basically now. If I run it, it will detect nothing because it needs to have this interface. So let's go now and create an object with that interface. So still in my demo, I'm going to create a blueprint, an actor, call this blueprint interact actor, like that, something like that. So this object, I just had like a static mesh so we can see something. Um, I'm going to use, um, can, I, can I use a sphere? So it's going to be easy to, um, is it a big one? Okay, well, that's a big sphere, I think so. And I'm going to put it like uh, red. Is there a red, red material or something? Or yellow? Nope. Give me a nice material I can use easily. There we go. Basic asset like that. Okay. So now I'm going to put this object in my scene. Oh, it's a little bit big. So I'm going to put it half the size. Maybe like that. There we go. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my class setting. I'm going to use my interface 
VPI here. And now I got something. So my interface is part of my blueprint. That's the only thing I want to do. So eventually I can do something with that interface, but now it's just the only thing I want to do. And I go back to my um, first person. Where is my first person blueprint? This guy. So if he got that, so just to repeat, so you do a raycast. And if you find an object and that having this interface, you're going to show cut me as a text. Let's do this. And if I move this, now my recast is too far. So if I go a little closer, there we go. Got me. We can see the text. Got me. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to do a teleport when this thing happens. So basically here, I can play with a different option. Um, like I can decide to enable or not my uh, my HUD. So let's do this. Get hub visible. Set visibility. So if I detect something, my ad will be visible. Otherwise, it will be invisible. So if I don't detect anything, I will make it hidden like that. And also in this case, there we go. So you will see in a second why I'm doing this. Okay, now I'm going over so it doesn't detect anything. And now you see when I'm going crossover, it's like, whoops, there's something to do. So you can do something. It's it's one way, but it's, it's just to create an interaction. All right, then what I'm going to do then, um, I'm going to use this as a condition. I can use other way, but I will use this as a condition uh, when we do click. So I think it's here. Yeah, so this is the input action. So if this happened, I will check something if if the widget is visible is visible like that if I turn it on that's mean there's something can be interacted with and I'm just gonna do uh, after this I can do a teleport teleport so where I do teleport, so I'm going to just move my character somewhere like I'm going to have panel, maybe. Yeah, let's do this mm, simple, basic shape plane like that. This here and I'm going to do copy of this. Okay, so I want it to be teleport right through the position of my panel, 610 and 110, and that's 0, 10, okay, maybe 1, like that. Okay, we're going to remove the collision of that object. No collision like that. Now, if... I go here, I got my uh, view and there we go. Now I can be teleported properly. There we go. The only thing is the rotation may need to be adjust because it doesn't change the rotation. So let's adjust the rotation too. So to adjust the rotation, so what we can do, so I was checking this. Um, we can the rotation is used with the get controller get controller and rotation set rotation there we go so we're just gonna set the rotation of that guy so we're gonna set the rotation like a default rotation of zero so it will work. All right, let's try that now. There we go. 
and now if I play I got this click here and get a teleport there we go all right thank you for watching